Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with Laugh Love Shop. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. This is a lifestyle channel, so I do beauty videos, fashion videos, hauls, DIYs, home decor, home organization, pretty much whatever strikes my fancy at the moment. So I do hope you'll click subscribe and stick around for a while. Share this channel with your friends and help a girl out. If you feel so inclined, you can hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the fun. And as always, feel free to watch the videos that interest you and skip the ones that don't. And today I'm coming at you with a fashion fashion DIY and I've been seeing bags like this on Instagram all over the place and usually they're linked through the like to know it app and I would go through the like to know it app and these bags are like $40, $25 and I'm like I am sure, I am sure I can make that for cheaper. I went to Michael's and they had these straw bags. They also had bigger ones as well. So, you know, pick and choose whichever size you like. So I grabbed one of those and then I used some yarn that I already had at home and some hot glue that I already had at home and I made pom-poms and hot glued them onto my bag. Now I decided to go with black and white because I just thought it added a little bit of detailing contrast. I thought it was pretty cute, but you can of course do all white if you want to really make it look like the bags that you see on Instagram. Now I'm not going to do a tutorial on the pom-poms because there are like a million tutorials on the pom-poms, but I will give you my three tips that I wish I had known before I started that would have made my life easier. First off, use a fork. The size of the fork that you need is a regular dinner sized fork. You're still going to end up with pretty big pom-poms. <laughs> dingle hopper. You're still going to end up with pretty big size pom pom, so you will have to trim it down, but it's a good starting size. Also, I suggest using a bit of straw. Put that there. Then you wind it around. So tip number one, regular size fork. Tip number two, put a straw there, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Tip number three, you're going to want to wrap it around like a hundred times literally a hundred times in order for it to be nice and full and not too just like stringy looking. Now, once you have the yarn wound around and around and around, cut it off, get another long strip of yarn. And what I did was I hooked that long strip of yarn onto just like a bobby pin, but you could use some sort of needle too, I suppose. And then I stuck it down through the straw and pulled it out the other side and then took the straw off. And the reason that the straw is there is because with the yarn wrapped around it, it's hard to get a string through the middle of that circle of yarn. So the straw seriously helps. And then you'll just follow with the rest of whatever tutorial you happen to be watching. But those are my three tips to make it a lot simpler on yourself. And then I just literally hot glued it on here. And look how cute this is. It's got the little magnetic snap, quite a lot of space in there for a little clutch. So I think it turned out pretty cute. And the great thing is next year when this kind of bag is not on trend, you'll have only spent like $5 to make it rather than spending $25, 30 $40 on a little bag that's really going to be in style one year and out the next. So I want to know, guys, what is one fashion trend that you've been loving this year, but you really don't want to spend the money on it? Maybe there's a way we can figure out to DIY it. Leave your thoughts and ideas down in the comments section down below. Let's get a discussion started. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up to let YouTube know that you enjoy fashion DIYs, and I will talk to you next time. Bye. New videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. In the meantime, check these out and follow me across social media.